So I recently, I know y'all are like, what's been going on? Why are you posting this? Okay, this is what happened. So just for me to be transparent, right? My ex baby daddy had um, came back and he offered me like a le something that I thought was legit. And I, even though I had my boundary up for so long and I had been so firm and, you know, like I just felt like it was God, you know, I just felt like all the hard work that I did on myself, like God was rewarding me with everything that, you know, sometimes as women, like we fool ourselves and to believing because we already know that something isn't going to work for us. We try to ignore what our heart space is to that thing. So like I was strong and I was standing in my power and I was being, you know, doing all of that. But then it's like, I was lying to myself about how I really like subconsciously felt in our subconscious lies the truth it lies like regardless of how that thing did you whatever like your subconscious like that's your your real feelings and emotions and your true heart space not what you're telling yourself not to think about and trying to force yourself to believe that you don't want that was my heart space that's what I wanted and even though it was like buried deep 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 and I was still doing what I had to do that thing came back and I automatically just folded you know what I'm saying and it's like it came back and it came back in a way, you know, I was like, if this nigga don't come back with a house and a real apology, and you know what I'm saying? Like real change behavior, then it's not for me. But he came back and he was like, I'm getting a house and look, look, I want you to come and I'm going to be a great father. And I made a mistake. And, you know, as well as telling me about his other situation and certain things about that. A lot of it made me totally let my guard down and just, you know, respect the certain demands and certain things that he wanted from me in return of you know this new this new person that he was I let my guard down and then the same things that I intuitively knew what happened. You know, when somebody does you the way that I was done, they're not going to change. They're not. He's not going to give me what I want. He's not going to give me what I want. Those exact words. He's not going to give me what I want. But the test was beyond that. The test was when and if this thing comes back, are you going to speak up for yourself? I started finding myself things that throughout my whole healing process, like this is what I need. And this is, I started, okay, well, maybe he doesn't have to do that. Or, you know, like I started to push all of the things my wants and my desires away so that I can code be in a codependent ass relationship this is the father of my kids and it only makes sense and he wants to do the right thing now like well, let's do it and it pushed me back into a bad mental space like a very bad emotional space um the lesson wasn't in just rejecting it you know what I'm saying the lesson was are you going to speak up for yourself are you going to um really require the things that you said that you would when they showed themselves not to change, like, are you really going to have the boss to walk away? And, you know, I didn't. I stayed and I was like, you know, I made excuses. I um, took fault. You know, that's what narcissists do. They come in and they tell you that because you're doing this, they have to do this. And I went right back in that cycle. And I'm being transparent about this shit because I want you guys to know, first of all, I don't like speaking in code and hiding shit, you know, after coming and running to y'all and putting all of my you know putting everything out in the air i don't like withholding certain shit i like to be real about it and it's like you know a part of me that wanted that so bad was like well no we're gonna withhold we're gonna work with him we're gonna see how this you know plays out we're gonna but no fuck that i'm coming to y'all today with my fucking <laughs> what i call myself crash dummy ass and let y'all know that i'm human and i fell for something um and it's like, you know, a part of me that wanted that so bad was like, well, no, we're going to withhold. We're going to work with him. We're going to see how this, you know, plays out. We're going to, but no, fuck that. I'm coming to y'all today with my fucking, <laughs> what I call myself, crash dummy ass and let y'all know that I'm human and I fell for something. Um, I fell for it and I'm not going to stay in that, you know, like it's not going to give me what I want. It is proven. It's the same fucking cycle and I have to let it go. You know, I'm human though. So I don't want to sit up here and be like, you know, I'm human. So 
whatever but this was a lesson that some people come back from the past not even to be with you some people come back from the past just as confirmation that it's nothing wrong with you it's everything with them or it's nothing wrong with you or it was other things that I needed to know that was exposed during that period of reconciliation and I'm glad that that opportunity you know I'm glad that I was a crash dummy because I needed to know certain things I needed to know the importance of my boundaries like I needed to know a few things and it was highlighted to me and I don't want to you know keep this under wraps and then be looking fucking you know what I'm saying like this is my channel I'm gonna be transparent the same way that I'm transparent about me displaying gratitude and all of that is the same way I need to be transparent about y'all I fucked up and I I made a video talking about everything that was done wrong to me and how I would never fuck up and I did and oh I feel free so yeah that is what's been going on that is why I've been so stuck um I've now again have to go and heal from certain things thank God that before I do dove into deep and you know made permanent decisions thank God that I didn't thank God that I really do want what's best for me and my kids. You know what I'm saying? And me expressing that I felt like nobody would manipulate me because I expressed the importance of my healing and everything that I've done and I my you know my kids and how I, I couldn't allow them to be sucked in this and that person looked at me fought for, you know, that you know, and it's like people don't give a fuck about whatever your your side is people give a fuck about their side how you're going to benefit them they don't give a fuck about all the healing and how they could potentially fuck you up and how they could potentially set you back and with narcissists they don't even give a fuck about your kids and how they can mentally set them back in a nigga is going to be a nigga you know and when they show you that that's what they're going to choose believe it don't continue to have to reheal and to do all of that and i'm talking to myself i'm not even giving advice to y'all because i'm learning i'm fucking human i don't want to give advice to anybody i'm giving this advice to myself that when a nigga show you who they are believe them a nigga does not he's not going to put your healing first and understand the work you did on yourself so what you have to do is stand firm and to be bold and to walk away from things that do not serve you and not just to talk about it but do it when it really comes to you you know what i'm saying like don't you know this was something that I needed to see I needed to know I needed to go through and it doesn't feel good and I'm 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 this is why it is important regardless of somebody can tell you like you can literally go to a psychic and they can tell you this is not for you if that is your heart's desire you're going to continue to manifest those lessons and you're going to continue to go through those cycles until you choose to really be tired and to walk away and to walk into a karma water things that serve you you know what I'm saying so yeah Absolutely. last but not least I'm not saying this like in a prideful way. I'm not saying this in anything. This is the most humble thing that I could possibly do with my energy right now, which is to not only feel stupid in the inside, but share how I feel outward, especially with people that have been here with me and they, you know, understand everything that I went through and healed from. Like when you truly are not ready to let go of things subconsciously not mentally it's easy for us as women to tell ourselves i don't want that I'm, I'm not gonna do this but i'm talking about your heart space like what's really there and how you really you know what i'm saying how you really feel in here like yeah so y'all that is all that i have to say um this is not for nobody to feel bad for me or anything this is my transparency and this is me just coming to y'all with the real shit even when shit feel real fake <laughs> yeah i don't even think no but yeah i hope i post this and i don't like you know back out of posting it but if not it still felt good to let it out and that is all that i have for y'all i love y'all so much i'm about to go spend time with people that love me like they love me for real there's no manipulation there's no nothing there's nothing but pure love and light and I like that feeling. I want to choose that, you know? I want that. That's what I want. That's what I'm going for. That's what I'm manifesting. That's what I've manifested. That's what I deserve.